tell you you were going to maybe win the game. Was it before halftime? Was it during halftime at, at the end? What did, what did they tell you? They're just like, Josh is going to be out the rest of the game and we need to start the third quarter. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what happened to Josh, but Coach Fitch just said, Javon, get ready, so just walked up in the, in the locker room. Having been, got, kind of gone into this situation before in the middle of a game, uh, help you uh, prepare and just kind of relax out there tonight? Yeah, I mean, definitely going in before it, it helped, but um, I didn't like the way I started tonight. It started a little slow, so I mean, next time I was trying to start faster. Was there kind of like a mindset or anything said but on that last drive? You guys need to go down to get the field goal. Um, anything in the huddle or, or, or just uh, an energy you felt that, uh, that it was going to get done? I mean, we had a lot of energy on the sidelines, so I think that helped us out a lot. Coach Fish. Um, call the great plays, and then our offense is executing. So. How big was uh, that deep ball down the left sideline that you threw to Jordan on your third drive of the second half after two three and outs to get that big play, and then it set up the touchdown? Uh, third quarter? Or third quarter of the third drive. So oh, yeah. After the two three and outs. Yeah, Jay Lab made a great catch, and then offense just gave me time to be able to make the throw. So. 
you know, to uh, to get it done. Uh, I know you guys wanted to do this for for Coach Moore and and the seniors uh, to to get it done for for all of them. Yeah, uh, definitely was a big game. You know, uh, Coach Moore not being there, it you know kind of impacted us. So then we just wanted to play for him. And then Coach Fish did a great job this week. You know, preparing us for the game. So. How much does having a guy like Jordan Lasley, who's just on fire recently, make your job easier? It makes it a lot easier. He's a big target, fast. Um, you know, he's just one of those guys you can trust down the field, even if, like, I know a couple times I'm going to do him and he just made a play, so. How cool was it being in the Rose Bowl in kind of that game-winning drive situation for the first time in your college career with about two minutes left? Like, yeah, it was definitely a great experience, but um, I wouldn't want an experience with any other Besides my teammates right now, so you're good. I don't know if you, you were asked this, but what were your feelings when uh, JJ was kicking that field goal? I mean, I, I was confident in him. JJ's a great kicker, so uh, I knew he was going to make it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Brandon, biggest workload of your career tonight, in order to the 15 or so carries. What was it like to kind of get into that rhythm of getting that workload? Um, you know, when uh, Soso and uh, Bolu went down, uh, I knew I had to step up. And, uh, you know, it was just getting the rhythm of the game. You know, this is my first time getting this many carries and uh, this much uh, play time. So, you know, the offensive line did a great job. They were able to get some push, and, you know, I was just working off of it. What was Yvonne's demeanor in that last, last drive, two, about two minutes left to go down and win the, win the game? Oh, the bond. Uh, I mean, we work on two minute uh, every every Wednesday at practice, and um, you know he he just told us let's let's go down here and let's let's try to score. And uh, we could we didn't score a touchdown, obviously, but you know we put JJ in a great position to win the game for us. What's this week been like emotionally, um, with obviously a, a coaching change and then a lot of uncertainty around the program about what's going to happen uh, going forward? Right. Um, you know, we we uh, we definitely miss Coach Moore, um, but you know, this week we just had to prepare. You know, put all the all that happened uh, behind us, and you know, just just prepare for this game. And uh, we're not really worried about the the coaching change and all that. That's not what we're worried about right now. We just you know we have another game ahead of us, so we're just preparing for that now. Can you talk about your emotions and excitement to actually get to a bowl game? Oh, it was, oh I was. Uh, we were definitely uh, all excited. You know, we didn't. We weren't able to uh, to get to one last year, and so to win this game, you know, for all our seniors, you know, for uh, Coach Fish, Coach Moore, and be able to give uh, these guys that's been here four or five years another game, it uh, it truly really means a lot. What was uh, Coach Fish like this week, taking on that head coaching role as well as offensive coordinator? Um, you know, Coach, coach Fish is a—he's a great coach. You know, uh, people have a lot of respect for him, and uh, you know, he just—he he took everybody under his wing, and he said, you know, like this is it. This, this is what we got now. So let's just go out here and get a win. So we we did just that. Did you see him, uh, Coach Fish, maybe be a little more vocal this week, maybe change his demeanor slightly just because now he's the head coach? Um, was he a little bit different this week in that respect? Um, you know, Coach Fish is Coach Fish. You know, he's, he's going to talk even even when he wasn't the uh, interim head coach. So there wasn't really a change. Uh, probably, I mean, the defensive guys, they, uh, they're they hearing from, from him a little bit more since they did it in the past. But from an offensive standpoint, you know, I hear Coach Fish every day. So... <laughs> Was, you know. Jordan, what's this? What's this week been, been like for you? I know you put some posts out there about how close you were to Coach Moore and what he meant to you. How, how, how tough has this week been? Well, I mean, I, we, I lost the coach. You know, my coach got fired. They recruited me. Um, he was more than just my coach, so you know we, we we had a lot of different conversations about a lot of different things. So you know, Coach Moore getting fired, like I I, I kind of took that to heart. And I've been knowing Coach Moore since I was 15, 16 years old. So this week was emotional. It was it was a lot, but uh, all credit to Coach Fish, man. He he had us 
he had us locked in even through through everything. So more power to him. I know you said uh, a few weeks ago you took some time to reflect and kind of get away from football a little bit when you were away from the team. How, how instrumental was Coach Mora in making sure you got back to this point where you had back to back 200 yard games and you're on a roll again? Very instrumental. Um, I was suspended for three weeks, but me and Coach Mora never stopped talking. So um, he helped out a lot. We, have, like I said, we we always have different types of conversations about a lot of different things because. Honestly, me and Coach Moore actually have a whole lot in common. So, um, yeah. Uh, how would you assess your performance today? Do you think Randy Moss would be proud of how you played? Uh, I mean, Randy Moss had three catches with three touchdowns and 160 something yards. So I guess I didn't really get there, but I beat him on yards. So, so I hope he'll be proud. Did you go through the like you went through the senior night festivities? Is, is this? Your last game, or um, I don't even know. Uh, I actually didn't even know that I was walking out with the seniors until probably maybe like three or four hours before the game. So uh, Coach Fish just said that you know he told he actually told me like like I said three or four hours before the game that I'm going to walk out with the seniors. I asked him why. You know he said that was just you know the, the places that he's been in college like that was just the rule. Fourth years or fifth years ago, whether you're coming back or whether you're not, but that's a decision that I have to. You know, talk talk to my family about you know pray on, um, you know just have a different conversations with people that I trust about that. But I have no idea what I'm going to do. Uh, when Devon came in in the second half and that first long pass that he completed to you down the left sideline, how big do you think that was for him to get that first big, get that first first down? Devon's a baller, so I mean I don't, I'm not sure how much it you know helped him or or meant to him or whatever. But I mean I've been seeing Devon throw the ball like that since he was. 11th or 12th grade in high school, so I just told him, you know, when he came in, to just stay cool, calm, poised, and I got your back if you need me. So I feel like Devon played a really, played a really good game for, you know, given the circumstances. What does it mean for this team to go to a bowl game, considering the year you've had with the injuries and then with the coaching change uh, at the beginning of this week? Uh, I think it means everything, you know, considering the fact that we didn't go to a bowl game last year, and um, you know, I've been, this is my fourth year, and I've been to. We didn't go to a bowl game last year, and I've been to two bowl games the year before that, so not going to one, it was just kind of like, whoa, like, we're not playing in bowl season? Like, I'm at home in December? Like, no. Nah. So, um, playing in a bowl game this year, like, that was that was definitely everything that I wanted to get for my team. Like, that's, that was my mindset going in. Let's get this win for my teammates, and then we can, uh, you know, we can go bowl. So. What was Coach Fish like this week taking over the head coaching role? And was he more vocal and things like that? Um, I would just say he was more vocal, like, pro probably to the defense a little more. Because, you know, obviously Coach Fish is an offense, is an offensive coordinator. Um, but he was, definitely, he was definitely more vocal with the defense. But, I mean, as far as the offense, he was the same way with us. Same same type of mentality, same type of expectations. And, um, I feel like we, I feel like we, 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 did, we did our thing today. Will whoever's the next coach, will that factor into your decision uh, whether to come back? I mean, I, of course. I feel like I feel like it would either way. Um, I don't know who's going to be the coach. I don't even know who they're, who they're thinking about uh, naming as their coach. Um, like I said, I'm just taking it one game at a time, and uh, I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Thank you, guys.